Our Wheel and Weight saga continues. Stick around. All right, so this is just a quick update video to talk about our ongoing wheel and weight issues. Went out and got the truck reweighed. I'll show you a little bit of that and then I'll go into the uh, number analysis on that. And then I got some news about bore wheel as well. Stick around to the end and learn about that. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna uh, prep to weigh the truck by itself. I'm gonna top off all the fluid gonna get some diesel with my discount card and then we will um, I'll fill up the def 2 and then we'll head over there to that cat scale and we'll get it weighed I am travel ready everything that I would have in this truck for travel day is in it my auxiliary tank is bone dry not that you can see it but we're gonna um, fill that up see how many gallons it actually takes all right here we go. All right, so that's all it takes, it's about 35.4 gallons, and that's filled right up to the um, neck. So, we're good. All right, we are loaded with fuel in both tanks, and loaded with depth, so we are ready to travel. And we will now weigh the truck just by itself on this cat scale. All right, got my drive axle on that part of the scale. Got my steer axle on that part of the scale. Now I will open up the app. Here it is. I don't know if you see it. Weigh my truck. Scale number is 776, right there. Confirm, hopefully I get the right credit card in here. B, accept the B, start the wave request. All right, there we go. Gross 9,700. We'll see how that compares to the previous one. All right, so it's travel day, and this is what we have reduced it to. We have four folding chairs. We've replaced some older, heavier chairs. We have just a couple of DeWalt tools here. Um, we have the dog pen. We have a toolbox that doesn't have many tools in it, just a couple of uh, chargers for the DeWalt and a few batteries. We got the dog beds, small table. We got a larger uh, leopard table here, S step ladder, um, rug, and then on the other side, oh, actually behind there is my smoker, which is the heaviest item in here at about 60 pounds. Let's see, on the other side, we have a little bit of inventory and supplies, uh, a new Starlink, uh, which I haven't installed yet. I'll be doing a video on that. We have this container, which used to have the old Starlink in it. Um, I sold that, so this just has paper towels in it now. And then I have uh, some miscellaneous um, towels and a few odds and ends there. Uh, that doesn't weigh too much and set cleaning supplies things like that and that is the uh, flagpole buddy for the starlink so that is it we've reduced it about as much as we can maybe there's another 50 pounds i can take out if i get rid of this stuff that's in here for example maybe some stuff in here this is like supplies for the rv uh, repair business um yeah so i just got to put the water filter in there bucket pack up the hose Put the power surge protector away and we will be ready to rock and roll all right i have topped off all the fluids so i am on the scale again steer 
drive trailer. I'll do this off camera and I'll let you know. All right, so Ellen and I have moved some stuff out of the RV and we've also moved some stuff from the RV to the truck to try to adjust some weight around so that we can get under the overweight situation that we discovered when we had the wheel failure a few weeks ago. So let me show you the weight tickets and show you where we are now that we have reweighed after getting rid of all that stuff. So to my screen here, let's go. Here we go. Let me see what I got. So this is the first time we weighed. Uh, we're at 30,060 pounds uh, combined. And then the truck by itself, oops, that's the wrong one. The truck by itself was 9,540, I think. Yep. And then this time around, we've weighed, and the total is 29,420. So we have reduced the total overall weight by about 640 pounds. And the weight of the truck by itself has gone up a few pounds because we moved like 160 pounds worth of stuff into the truck. So let me show you how that compares the before and after again from my spreadsheet that I had previously. All right, so this is the original weighing in and we were 20,520 pounds for the trailer only, which resulted in 1,436 pounds total overweight. All right, so, um, we were 30,060 pounds total as we saw. So now, removing all the weight, we weighed again, and we are now, the trailer by itself is 19,720 pounds, which is still 636 pounds over their gross vehicle weight rating of the RV. We're still good on the uh, truck's gross vehicle weight rating at 13,000. The truck by itself is fine as well. We're not over on the steer axle, we're not over on the drive axle, and we are actually now under on the trailer axle when it's hitched. So we're at 15,800, um, so we're under that 16,000 rating. But we are still overall over by 636 pounds. So what does that mean? Well, if we get stopped by the DOT, which I don't know how likely that is, but if we were to, and they happen to weigh us, they would look at this number of 19,720, and they would compare it to this 19,084, and they would consider us overweight. And I don't know what they would do. They could fine us. They could just have us shed, our, shed some of the weight. Um, and let us go on our way, I don't know. But I can tell you one thing, that if we got into an accident, whether it's my fault or the other driver's fault, I can assure you that the insurance companies, the attorneys for those insurance companies are gonna battle to try to shift liability to one party or the other. And if they find out that I'm overweight, I can almost guarantee that they will shift that liability to me because if I couldn't stop, okay, and I, did, I tried to stop but I couldn't, the question would become, well, was it because I was overweight? So there'd be some type of litigation there um, and somebody would have to call an expert. Whatever, I don't know, I'm speculating, but that's the, that's the worst case, right? So I wanna try to avoid that. There's no need for me going out there, putting other people at risk, putting me at risk and, and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna be compliant. So um, we got it down to we're only 636 pounds over. I don't know what else we can do. Um, I can tell you that the first weighing, I didn't think that we had any fresh water in the tank. So we reduced the total weight, um, I don't know, some 800 pounds. A lot of that was water that I had in the fresh water tank that I didn't realize that we had in there. And it turns out that we did. I dumped that and so that accounts for this 800 pounds of saving. We're at the 14, uh, yeah, 1436 and now we're at 636 over. So there you go. Um, I'm not sure what we do now. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to find out some way to mitigate that. I do have four AGM batteries that account for 240 pounds. I don't need four of those. I could switch them out to lithium batteries, save some weight, um, and really keep the uh, capacity about the same. So, but how much am I gonna save there? 120 pounds? Uh, it's something. Maybe I can find some other stuff to shed and get us closer to being in compliance. Uh, maybe get rid of the generator, well, though I don't really want to do that, maybe the dishwasher, maybe it's something else that we don't use all that often. Don't know, gonna to have to continue to investigate that. Um, so, uh, an update on bore wheels. As we know, the, this whole thing started from when we had a wheel failure. 
okay, back in, I don't know, uh, April or May. And so I went through and I figured out we're overweight, but we determined that being overweight did not contribute to the um, problem with the wheels. We were under on the wheel, we were under on the tire. So we we're good there. Um, so I went out and I said, well, seeing as I had two of those wheel, wheel failures, I didn't want to take a chance because we're going cross country again. And I may not be so lucky to get one. It may be a more catastrophic failure. So I decided to go out and order bore wheels. Um, a lot of people have been doing that and had great success. I'm sad to say that I have not had great success with them so far. And I'm going to give them big benefits of a doubt here. But I placed the order on 531 for the Cruiser 67 wheels. And they say that there's a special order and they will ship in 10 days. Well, as of last Friday, um, which was, I don't know, the 20th, or, uh, we're in June here, so I don't know, oh, Friday was the uh, 21st, I've not received the wheels. I placed the order on 531. Um, it has been at least 15 business days. I did get confirmation around June 6th that the FedEx labels were printed, uh, so I thought they would be shipping sometime soon after that. I waited a week. Um, so I'm nothing, so I gave them a call, I left a message, I was assured that I would be called back, I received no phone call. I waited a few more days, maybe even a week, I called again, left another message with a human, and, and the first time was with a human as well, I was assured I'd get a call back, and I received nothing. I went to their Facebook page, and I messaged them there privately uh, to ask them for an update, and I received no response. I've since sent them an email and I've received no response on that either. Now, they are a small company. I understand they may be busy, but if they're having a problem, they should at least acknowledge the customer and let them know what's going on. We can't ship them, we're delayed, uh, we lost your order, whatever the case. I did get confirmation from PayPal and my credit card that they did bill me for them almost immediately when I placed the order. As a matter of fact, immediately when I placed the order. Right, boom, hit submit, and boom, I got notified that I was charged. So uh, again, I'm giving them benefit of the doubt. Uh, this coming week, I hope I hear something from them, whether it is, hey, they've been shipped, or no, we can't ship them to you, uh, refund the order, whatever the case is. But the uh, fact that I've heard nothing from them is very concerning and very frustrating to me. All right, so that is that. Um, I don't have much more to say. I'll we'll do another video when we get an update um, on the wheels and talk about how I'm gonna switch those wheels out and probably to do a little bit more uh, work around that, I'll, I'll pack, repack the bearings and do some inspections of the uh, suspension, all that kind of stuff. But that's where we're at for now. So as usual, if you uh, like this kind of content or you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. If you think anybody else will get value from this video, please share it out to them. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Leave your questions, comments down below. See ya.